The most extreme emergencies call for the coolest heads and the clearest thinking. But sometimes you have to take what you can get. In the early hours of September 3rd, 24-year-old Sharon Bachman had to settle for her husband, David. In the fourth floor bedroom of their security condominium in Huntington Beach, California, Sharon was having trouble sleeping. I woke up about 1.30 in the morning and um, I woke up thinking that I was having cramps. After two cramps, I decided that they weren't really cramps. She was already a week overdue with her third child. Is it time? I think so. Okay. My wife woke me up and said it was time. And I thought, okay, plenty of time. Time means time to get up, you know, do my little running around bed and go to the hospital. It's time. With the other two kids, I was in there, but I wasn't a coach. I didn't want to look because I'd get queasy and I'd probably go to the ground. My mom wanted to be there, so this time she was going to be the coach. She was going to go in. Mom, hi. Okay, it's time. When I talked to my mom, I said, you know, I'll call you in about an hour when we're getting ready to leave. It'll be a while yet. Don't worry. While he was gone, they came real fast. I just had like one constant pain. And he doesn't know what to do, so I'm telling him to call 911. I still thought that meant, okay, well, that means we got to leave for the hospital now. Not an hour from now, but now. And then finally got through to me. Now, now, she's having a baby right now. So that's when we called 911. The call came in to 911 dispatcher Richard Comp. Fire department emergency. Uh, my wife's having a baby now. Okay. Is this her first child? No, it's her third. Okay, she's I want you. Labor in okay. Now. I understand. I stay on the phone. I want you. I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay, hurry. Okay. Nancy, we have a childbirth in progress. We need I, you to I called for Nancy, Nancy to come out and assist and talk to him to give him instructions on childbirth if necessary while I dispatch the units to his address. 911 operator Nancy Furman took over the call. Sir? Yes. Okay, I'm going to stay on the phone with you until they get there. Huntington Engine 46, Huntington Medic 65, respond to grid 422 on a medical aid. It's a childbirth, um, childbirth in progress, third child. Has she delivered yet? No, she, but she's upstairs and I'm downstairs. Is there any way to get a phone near her, sir? Yeah, I have, we have to disconnect this and take it up there. Okay, I'll wait, sir. Uh, call gonna... me back if we're disconnected. Uh, okay, you will be disconnected. Okay, well then just call me right back. Just uh, 911 again? Yes, sir. Okay. He did not want to sever that telephone line. I mean, it was like, if you lost me, that was it for him. I mean, you could just tell a panic. See, I was real surprised by his excitement. Because this is his third child. So I thought, he's done this more times than I have. I've never had children. He should be telling me what to do. <laughs> but um, that wasn't the case. Fire emergency. Uh, yes. Hi. My wife's on the baby. Has she had the baby yet? No, but she says she can't even move. It's one right after the other. It's coming, she says. Her contractions are one right after another? One right after the other. <laughs> okay, listen to me. Ask her if... There's still some time. Calm. The baby is coming out now. I see it. You see it crowning? Where is your wife at? Is she on the bed? Oh, my God. I see the head. It, that's good. Is she, she on, on the... the toilet, though. She can't move. She's on the toilet? Yes. Go get her off the toilet and get her on the... Now. The baby is coming out. Go get her. I'll wait. Get her on the floor. Get her on the floor, Sharon. Get her Go on the help floor. her. Go help her and then I'll come back. I'm here. Okay. Lay down, Sharon. Lay down, baby. Go okay. through. Okay, okay, she's on the floor. Okay, good. I thought, this this isn't going to happen. The paramedics are going to get there before this child's born. I kept crossing my fingers for that. Like, please get there. Oh, my God, it's a big puddle. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry about the puddle. Have you ever seen a baby born before? No, it's just like a big clear bag coming in. Yeah, that's the water. Don't sweat it. That's great. Is the head in? Oh, I do. Listen to me. Okay. It, is the head out? What? Is the head exposed? No, not yet. Okay. With each contraction, I want you to place your hand against her vagina and apply firm but gentle pressure to keep the baby's head delivering too fast and tearing her. Is this above it, you mean? We have yeah, cards that we use that lead us through the different steps for each emergency that calls in. And I read fast. But she was having that baby faster than I could read. Oh, uh, there's the baby's head. Oh, my God. No, it's great. Push, Sharon, push. Come on. Oh! You're doing Come fine. On. I don't want her to tear herself. Don't, don't encourage her to push so much. You want me to pull anything? I want you to, with gentle pressure, to keep the baby's head from delivering too fast. I want you to push against her vagina. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
push in or what? Push again, but see, she's really starting to. She's straining, and with her straining, she's going to tear herself. She has not had a episiotomy. Okay, the baby's out. Okay, that's great. Congratulations. How far is the baby out? Entire baby? Oh, right. Well, that's wonderful. Now tell me, is the baby dry? Is the baby breathing? No. Okay, I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay. I want you to get a, a dry towel. That baby's going to be slippery. I want you to get that dry towel, clean out her mouth a little bit. Is it a boy or a girl? Uh, <laughs> hey, this is important. Her mouth. Okay, we want to clean out her mouth. Wait a minute. You're doing fine, sir. You're doing fine. It's a boy. Congratulations. Okay, now what I want to do is I want you to support that baby. Wait, wait. Oh. I'm having trouble here. I know. I want to get the baby. I want to hear that baby crying. Jared's holding her upside down, and the baby's like, you know, coughing. Starting to cry. Well, that's good. She's trying to clear it their way. There it goes. She's crying. Excellent. She's doing good. Think of the stories you can tell his kid later. What? Think of the stories you're going to tell your kid later. Okay. I knew this was going to happen. Well, it happens sometimes. We're away from the hospital. We were worried about this. Oh, well, yeah, I can understand that. Don't worry about it now. Okay, has she got a, a big enough and warm enough towel for that baby? Yes, yeah, so it's a big, uh, you know, uh, beef towel type thing. Okay, good, okay. The ambulance is here. I can see they're going to have trouble getting in, though. Oh, yeah, I can see it, yeah. Don't worry about the umbilical cord. They're going to take care of that. I know, I know. How's your wife doing? I saw that on TV. I don't know that. Okay, well, good. How's your wife doing? Huh? How is your wife doing? Oh, she's doing great. She's fine, she's good. Said. Yeah, she's probably glad to have that load out. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my mom's going to kill us, though. She's going to wait for us to curse, we'll probably. Oh, you guys did a great job. You did a great job. Okay. All that money for hospital, and here we have it at home. I know. Isn't it funny? Well, why don't you, uh, I'm going to let you go since the ambulance crew's there and make your wife comfortable, and uh, they'll help you the rest of the way, okay? Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. The happiest moment was when the call was over. It was overwhelming. We all felt very excited for him and with him. It was, we all were there, in a sense, holding his hand over the phone and, and listening to that experience, unlike, the, unlike any other experience I've ever had before. The irony is actually, is I'm trying to have children, so this was even made it better for me. In my career, a lot of times, I, I see the lows in people's life, and this was something where I got to see the high, and I got to listen to a baby cry, what a way to have a baby. I mean, you know, if you get past the fear, it's such a natural, wonderful thing to happen that I hope that he will later look back and realize the joy he got to have with his wife. He'll never get to do that again that way. When paramedics arrived seven minutes after David's call, they quickly determined that Brian Allen Bachman was a healthy baby boy. Can't put the experience into words. It's almost like I had the child. I almost, if you could say, how a mother feels by having a child. I came as close as a, a man can get. As close as you can get, I feel. Okay, the baby looks good. I'll go ahead and update the Afghar and I'll get you an IVR for one. I look at David different because I didn't think he really had it in him to deliver the baby. I thought for sure he was going to pass out and he really didn't. He uh, came through when I needed him the most. Look, see the baby? Yeah. See, Mama? Baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> My son, he knows where the baby was born and what had happened. He says that um, 911 helped have the baby. You gotta go to the hospital. Okay, here. You got a few steps. All right. The tape, it's hilarious. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, oh, look, listen to this guy. I can't, what a jerk. But if you put yourself in those shoes, you, most people would be the same way.